In my last video, we looked at my TV and my video rack. Now it's time to look at the area to the left of my TV. Here we've got a nice Star Wars Episode 3 theatrical release poster. I actually saw this movie opening weekend back when it came out in 2005. But more importantly, we have the Laserdisc box set shelf. While the lighting isn't too bright, let me see if I can fix that. There we go. You can kind of make out a few more things. You know, I've got the James, Bo the Sean Connery collection down there. The far right, Dragonheart, Jurassic Park's buried in there. Six out of my seven Disney sets. I've got a uh, Toy Story, Beauty and the Beast, Pocahontas, Pinocchio, Sleeping Beauty, and Cinderella over here. Fantasia is located in a different spot due to its immense size. And there's the Star Wars trilogy special edition. The Star Trek The Movie Voyages, Mrs. Doubtfire, Alien and Aliens. Love all of these sets or else I wouldn't have bought them. To the left I have or yeah, to the left, I'm getting my directions confused at the same time that I'm getting them right. To the left I have the boxes that my two discs that, that came straight from Japan came from I keep them keep all my shipping labels of all the laser discs in my collection kind of personalizes it for me so I know where all of my discs came from and then up here we have the Xbox games the original Xbox collection that I have been building since 2003 when I bought my original Xbox that copy of Halo is uh, eight years old I have both the Halos, Brute Force both Silent Hill games for Xbox, a couple of the Star Wars games, both KOTORs, Red Faction 2, Nanako Museum. Nothing really spectacular, nothing to really write home about. However, above that we have the original PlayStation shelf, where even though you can't really tell, maybe you can if I pan across it. I filled this shelf to, com to uh, completion. A long time ago, which is why I have to start stacking games up on top. I've got a couple other classics. I've got uh, all three of the ori original to PlayStation Final Fantasies. Even though I currently don't have eight, a friend has that. I have all of the Star Wars games available, except for uh, Demolition Jedi Power Battles, which I have on Dreamcast. Of Kingsfield, both Medal of Honors, Twisted Metal 3 and 4, um, Metal Slug X, Um Jammer Lammy. As you can as you can tell by the by the way I ramble off these names, I have a very personalized collection of a uh, PlayStation games. I've even got I've even got uh, the remake of Frogger. That's one of my top ten PlayStation games of all time, easily. Now above that we have the we have a portion of my big box PC collection. You got like Oblivion, Call of Duty World at War, Left 4 Dead 2. Red Faction, Gorilla, Counter-Strike. You got a couple more like Age of Empires 3, Complete Collection, Jade Empire, Mass Effect. And then below that you have my Sega CD collection. We've got uh, Vey, which I paid 16 bucks for. It wasn't a very bad price. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, Dungeon Master 2, Skull Deep, Lethal Enforcers 2, Tomcat Alley, Wirehead, Brutal, Falls of... Paws of Fury, my, my, my apologies. Sylphid, one of the one of my favorite uh, Sega Genesis, Sega CD games of all time. Star Wars Rebel Assault, Echo the Dolphin, Prize Fighter, and Ground Zero Texas. And to the right, we have all of my original Saturn games. We've got uh, Tempest 2000, SimCity 2000, Mortal Kombat 2, um, Starfighter... Uh, I can't read them from here. Uh, it's, uh, some some fighting game. I don't really care very much. Midway Arcade Greatest Hits, Nights in the Dreams, and of course my favorite puzzle game, Baku Baku. And then we have the big box copy of Mortal Kombat 3 for PlayStation. And on top, we've got a few miscellaneous sports games that I found at a flea market for a dollar a piece. I just couldn't pass up on them. So that's it for this portion of the room. Next, I'll be giving you guys a good view at 
everything that consists of my desk and my laser disc collection, which is to the left of my desk. See you guys for part two.